what throws me off every time we get ready to start this show is I'll be listening to the music and the comments, and then it says dynamic duo, and I'll be wondering about, well, who's Batman and who's Robin? But anyway, I'm just joking. <laughs> 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 hey. Anyway, good morning. How you guys doing? All right, Ray, did we say anything out yesterday? No, nothing went out. You sent, uh, we had some information first thing this morning, though. I guess you'll share that now, though. Oh, I thought you were going to do that. Okay. Oh, no. Don't want to deprive <laughs> you of that opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. A lot of good stuff going on. I know the first thing you guys are questioning is, did they get the budget or they didn't? The 2020 budget, 21 budget, it went back and forth from the House to the Parliament, back to the House. So supposedly it reached Parliament twice, went back twice to make some changes. It was still, remember on Monday we were talking about them doing the vote on Saturday for the first reading? And then in these articles, it actually came out came out that they had planned on doing the first reading on Thursday. So they were just putting it on Saturday. And you guys have been here for a while. Absolutely no. They've been doing that for years. They'll put a date or time in the paper and news, and they'll do it two days ahead of time. And that's why we were always two days ahead of everybody else who was just looking at the news. But anyway, it is in motion. Uh, they took it back, and they said we took it back to make some changes to it. Well, let's submit again. But they're being um, consistent in saying it's going to take at least two weeks and probably three weeks for it to come out because they wanted it to come out in the middle of March, I mean, October. Middle of October. So there we are. Could anything happen sooner than that? Absolutely. Right. They continue to arrest people. Yesterday they put out um, orders restricting a whole bunch of people to the country. So they said when we get to them, they'll be within the grasp of authorities. So they restricted them. Most of them banking people, exchange people, and uh, especially people dealing with the key card. So they're saying that is a major source of corruption now is the key card. That's being the salaries and things that are supposed to be paid through it and they're paying the different companies. It's just going over to Iran. That's okay. We got that. Other than that, Maliki came out today and believe it or not, he was telling people, don't fall into the trap of protesting the electoral law. Wait for the electoral law and vote, but don't vote for either party or person. Vote for what's right. And you guys all know that doesn't sound like Malik. So we know it's a bunch of BS. And uh, we know it because most of the militia that's in there are changing their names so that they Iran can say it's not us. It's not our guys. Because those guys just split up and now they're doing their own thing. There's a way they're trying to disguise it. But everybody already knows it, so no big deal. But I don't think they're going to try anything right at this moment because word yesterday was they're going to lay off until after the election because they don't want to help get Trump elected. And they feel if they keep dropping bombs or cause a problem right now, it will give him a reason to use the military that would influence American citizens who will go and vote for him because there's an altercation going on. Or so they're saying they're going to stop doing that until after the election because they don't want to help him get reelected, which is, you know, makes sense. Um, and it only makes sense because... Biden has already said if he gets elected, he's going to go back to the 2015 agreement with, with Iran. And I'm sure they would prefer that much better. 
and what they're going through right now. So he put the sanctions on Iran. The real went down even further today because of those added sanctions. So uh, life got a little bit harder for them. But again, they're not trying to do anything between now and the election, which is good for us. That means Al Kazimi can go ahead and get his stuff through, make the changes he wants to make, and know they're not going to put up too much of a fight right now. That's who he wants to do it, which makes it easier for the RV to be completed, which we think is happening right now. Okay. Um, banks had meetings yesterday. They're still doing 6 through 11 through the end of the month. They are actually looking forward to something happening over this weekend, is what they're saying. They're going to be on alert or high alert over the weekend. So there's a possibility that something could happen there. We fully expect it by the, by the end of the month because the, October the 2nd is National Day for Iraq, a national celebration has been scheduled for October the 2nd, National Day. So second or third? They possibly, oh, second or third. Yeah, one of them. Okay. What could they possibly be celebrating on the second or third? Hold on. Let's see if Tish paying attention because she's sent to If not, i got to go look the article up. Let me see. But it's one of them. Second okay. Or third. I'll accept that. Okay. So we're all good. Everything's good. Um, Ray got the rates. I don't know if you want to give them to you guys. The last time he did tell me I was giving you guys too much information. That was from Ray. He's like, why are you telling them all that? No, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so, anyway, it's the third. I knew somebody would help us out. Uh, as far as national debt. But um, that is, is good. It's good, 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 good news. Um, so I'm going to let Ray tell you guys, and if he does, or he chooses to tell you guys, then I'm going to explain it to you. So from that, all right, Ray, let's do what you do. What am I supposed to